This is Veuve Clicquot Brut Non-Vintage Champagne, uh, yellow label. Very, very famous and uh, popular champagne. They call it yellow label. The label's actually more orange than yellow, but. Uh, Veuve Clicquot is a Grand Marc Champagne house. It goes back over 200 years, producing great quality wines. Um, you know, the making of champagne is, is probably the most uh, unique process in the entire wine making world. It's, it's just very different from any other kind of wine. Um, to put together a, a Brut Non Vintage, the, uh, the wine making team is tasting hundreds of samples of wines. So every year after the uh, harvest, you know, a house like Clicquot is bringing in wines from all around Champagne, different vineyards, and tasting them all separately, individually, um, deciding what's going to go into their blend. Day after day, they keep tasting more samples, more samples, putting together a, a consensus. And then, of course, they have reserve wines. Now, the reserve wines are what they use to maintain their house style because they know that they want the wine to be consistent year after year, even though it's a non-vintage wine. So they have reserve wines, which are, you know, um, some are older, maybe go back uh, three, four years in age, and they blend those in, maybe up to a third of the blend, um, to give it a particular style. So, um, Chardonnay, white grape, Pinot Noir, red grape, Pinot Meunier, red grape. But they'll make white wine out of those red grapes by just pressing the grapes and pressing the juice right off the skins, producing that white wine. So they're just tasting all these different white wines from those three different grapes in all the different regions. <laughs> I mean, quite a process um, to get to here. Of course, they do the secondary fermentation in the bottle. That's where you get the bubbles. And um, it's nothing like it. So, back to this wine. Wonderful nose on this wine. I'm getting that really nice sort of biscuity quality that good champagnes will often have. You know, a little hint of vanilla, um, stone fruit like uh, peach, some uh, like apple, but flowery, maybe like a blossom. Something a little, there's actually a little something smoky in here too, or, or maybe cedary, something like that. It's really great nose. Uh, I just couldn't spit it out. <laughs> really good. Um, the um, the bubbles on this wine, maybe they're referred to as the mousse. Often, the, you know, the, um, the characteristic that the bubbles bring is is really nice, and it's sort of rich, but but subtle. Those bubbles are really tiny, and um, that's something you're looking for in a, in a good champagne. Um, and I'm getting all those nice flavors. I'm getting that that. Um, that biscuity quality, those, those uh, apple notes, those little vanilla notes. I'm getting some um, little sort of uh, hints of stoniness, smokiness. It's really very complex. And uh, of course, it has wonderful bracing acidity, which um, you know is sort of a hallmark of champagne. You get that wonderful bright acidity. These wines match up with all kinds of different foods. Um, because of the uh, complexity, the intensity, and the acidity. Um, I love them with things like smoked salmon and sharp cheeses, but of course you can even you know, sit down to dinner and have a you know, roast turkey or a rack of lamb. <laughs> Why not? Enjoy.